Um, thanks for doing this. Thanks for agreeing to take the time to do this. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. There is nothing else to do now. I'm going <laughs> from meeting. <so. laughs> Yeah, um, and so as you know, this is being uh, this is being recorded, um, yeah. and I have uh, I have a whole lot of questions <laughs> for you, um, and so some of them it might feel a little bit like a rapid fire round. Um, some of them are light; they might not take a lot of thought. Um, some of them might take some more thought. In which case, feel free to pause if you want to skip a question. We can do that as well. Um, okay. So whatever you're comfortable with. Um, but in general, if you can sort of err on the side of being transparent, vulnerable, I think that would be, that would be good. Right. <laughs> that sounds good. Uh, all right. So my first question is, um, what were you doing just before this call? Another call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just a meeting for a grant. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what is your daily routine like? Well, so right now it's uh like probably most of the people not just in front of the screen it's just terrible it's sitting all the time and before i i had a lot of meetings before too but at least you had to walk between meetings now i i only need to click between meetings it's terrible so <laughs> my routine is just being in front of a tv yeah. <laughs> yeah um what is the favorite part of your day uh well so when the when when the calls end so <laughs> around 6 p.m i try to i try to finish between five and six and i try to respect that time as much as i can and and then you know then i try to do things that i like doing or walk around or just do some project that i enjoy or something like that and then it becomes my favorite part right right um, Unless it's a weekend, then everything is my favorite. <laughs> right. Um, what is the least favorite part of your day? Uh, I think the morning, uh, you know, waking up. I, I love the mornings, but I love the mornings in the weekends. Then, then it's fantastic. But I, I always, th this feeling that you wake up and, oh, no, it's just another day of work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, but I, I yeah I, I don't think I have a, a part of the day that is really not my favorite uh, you know like I really hate I, even waking up is okay I mean <laughs> yeah yeah um what one chore uh, do you dislike the most and why is that uh, I get putting the trash out <laughs> 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 for obvious reasons <laughs> uh, yeah uh, let's see i generally I, I i like doing things at home but i don't it's not like i'm looking forward to it uh, but you know i i cook and i i you know reorganize the house and paint or whatever it takes you know, I, can, I can do it <laughs> yeah. yeah um do you struggle with procrastination? Uh, yes. Uh, you know, <laughs> I am no physicist, but I think that procrastination is the strongest force in the universe. <laughs> you know, uh, it's, a, it's a force that will not get unified with any of the other forces. This <laughs> one will refuse to get unified. <laughs> and, and, yeah, yes, so it's just so hard to... It's so easy not to push things for another day, but uh, I generally try to, I think that it doesn't happen to me too often, actually. Uh, and when, when, when there are things that I prefer not to do, generally it's, it's not a question of procrastination. I really don't like doing them and I will try not to do them. So, <laughs> <laughs> but in general, yeah, I, I don't think I suffer from that problem too much. Hmm. Um, do you struggle with time management? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, right now, it's, uh, I, I mean, I'm sure that it happens to you too, but uh, it happens to me quite often that I realize that I scheduled two or three important meetings at the same time. <laughs> and there is, I have to go to the three of them. Now you can actually have, do it because you can open three, you can put three, three, three Zoom meetings and, and have the three going on in parallel. 
but uh, it has happened to me before you know, this time. So <laughs> it, was, it was quite painful and you have to make up excuses. Um, yes, and it has happened to me actually that sometimes there is a very important meeting I have to go and I go there and I'm skipping some other things that were also important and I go there and no, that's not the day it's happening, that meeting. <laughs> So I just lost everything. <laughs> it happened to me several times, this. <laughs> um, do you set an alarm in the morning? Uh, yes. Yes. And, and how, yeah, right now, it, just music. Yeah. Hmm. Put music in the morning. Yeah. Um, and how often do you hit the snooze button? Uh, Right now, I have to say that I don't do it, mm. but I, I was terrible at this. Like when I was a student, I will, especially in the weekends, that there is nothing forcing you to wake up really. Mm -hmm. And I will put the alarm clock at 9 a.m., which is already kind of late for a lot of people, <laughs> but for me, that was super early because I had the hope that this weekend will be a long weekend. I will do a lot of things. <laughs> And then I would just keep pressing the snooze button <laughs> until maybe 1 p.m. And, and I will do this weekend after weekend. It was yeah. terrible. So <laughs> I was really bad with that. But now, now it's okay <laughs> because there are so many things to do that you, know, you, you, you really don't have time to... to, to Hit the snooze to, button. Yeah. 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 Um, if I asked your friends, what is Antonio like? What are three adjectives you think they'd use to describe you? Oh, uh, hmm. I don't know. Okay, so so the ways that I think they will describe me. Mm. I guess that it will depend a lot on the friends, but if I think of my childhood friends, uh, I think they will say that, you know, fun, smart, and um, crazy, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and how much of that is true? Is any of that exaggerated? Is there something they're missing? Uh, well, uh, you know, given the, the experiences that we have lived together, I understand why they will <laughs> say the <these> things. <laughs> I I'm not sure how much it is still true, but it's certainly yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, are you happy with the number of close friends you have? Um, not really. I, I think that I, I would love to have. I would love to have more. And I think also there is a cultural difference between the U.S. and Spain, and and probably within the U.S. also there are so many differences across across the entire country mm -hmm. um, but um, for instance especially from the place I grew up because I grew up in an island in the Mediterranean in Mallorca so there all my friends are there they are still there there mm -hmm. are very few that left the island because it's a beautiful island life is it's amazing so why would you leave the island <laughs> I was, you know, I was sent away to report back and to tell them that it's still okay to stay <laughs> there, you know, still the best place. Um, so all my friends are there, and, and so whenever I go there, I, I have a lot of fun, and it's like going back to, 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 to high school. Yeah. Um, so I, I miss a little bit that. Uh, mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, what is one thing you are worse at than people around you? A lot of things, I guess. Uh, worse. And um, I, I guess that you mean that I'm worse and that is an important thing because. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> important that I'm worse at. <laughs> ah, uh, I guess that I see that there is people that are very well organized and I, don't, I think that I. I try to be well organized, but I don't think I'm very good at organizing myself. Mm. Yeah. So that's something important that I feel like a lot of people is much better than I am. Mm. Um, what is your single biggest strength? Strength. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, 
I don't know if there is a single, there are so many. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think, um, I don't know, maybe I, I like being creative. Maybe that's one thing that is useful mm -hmm. <laughs> in our profession. Yeah. 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 Um, what is a recurring moral conflict? Oh, a moral conflict, recurrent. Yeah, something you tend to think about often, haven't quite figured out. That I haven't... Hmm. I don't know, I guess that um, one thing will be, uh, you know, how close you are to your family, maybe, because we, we live all far away. And, and this is something that I think sometimes about, the fact that, you know, my parents are so far away, my brother, my sister also lives here in Boston, so she's, she's fine. <laughs> so, you know, family is, we are kind of, kind of far away from each other. Mm, yeah. Maybe that's, that's something that I think about. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is there a specific instance where you distinctly recall uh, feeling privileged? Oh, feeling privileged. Um, well, I think that are, um, you know, I think that we, we have very privileged lives. No? There are so many things that are, have come relatively easy to us. And I think that uh, maybe, you know, the fact that my parents supported all the things that I wanted to do, even though they didn't, they didn't match their personalities. I think that you know, we are very different. Mm. Uh, but uh, that, you know, I think that was very good. Mm. Um, what are you insecure about? Insecure? Um, this, this question? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, that's something. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe I am, um, maybe when I don't know people very well, mm -hmm. uh, it's the first time I, can, I have tendency to be kind of shy. Mm -hmm. And especially when, when I enter into a group that has to, well, whenever I enter into a new group, I always feel a little bit insecure and shy. You know? this, is, this is one of the reasons why, for instance, I, I, um, there is a lot of people that like playing games, no? like table games and so on. Mm -hmm. I don't like them because generally you are in a game and you are with a lot of people that you don't know necessarily and you are mm -hmm. exposed. No? <laughs> really, you, you are the worst in, <laughs> in that game. What does that mean? <laughs> so I feel super competitive in those conditions because, you know, <laughs> I just feel like it's going to reveal something about me that, you know, I don't want all these people that I don't know to. Yeah. To... <laughs> yeah. Um, do you feel like an imposter? Uh, no, no, I don't feel like an imposter. I don't have the imposter syndrome. However, I feel surprised very often. So, you know, I'm surprised whenever I get a promotion or when I got hired. You know, oh, really? Okay. <laughs> but, I, but then I don't feel like I'm a, an imposter at that job. But I feel surprised every day I go to my office and they haven't changed the lock yet. You know, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, what is something you're trying out these days and how is that going? Okay. So, yeah, I like trying things. Uh, and, and so one, one thing is, you know, I, I think I'm very shy and, and I'm scared of being, you know, in unknown groups and, and things like that. But still, I like putting myself out of my comfort zone. Hmm. So I have tried a number of different things uh, over the years. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm, I'm trying two things. One is jujitsu. I just hmm. go into jujitsu classes. And, which I have done some martial arts in the past, but I never done this one and, and it's a completely new place. So, but I've been uh, just a few, a few months on it because now the gym is closed and you know, everything is very difficult to, <laughs> to do anything yeah. like that. And the other thing is I'm, I'm trying to play guitar. Hmm. So I'm learning, I'm taking lessons to 
play the guitar, which is, you know, I never play instruments. So this is something new I'm trying to, but I to tell you that I'm, I have seen monkeys playing better than guitar. <laughs> so I'm still kind of far away from doing anything <laughs> sensitive with, with, with the guitar, but yeah, I feel like yeah. making some progress. Yeah, yeah, that sounds nice. Um, what is one of your favorite uh, tools or tricks or hacks that you think have uh, made your life more fun, more efficient, more convenient? Mm. Well, I like having a nice space to work. Mm. So that's one thing I, I try to, but that doesn't make necessarily anything more efficient or I, I feel like if, in a, if I am in a place that I like being, mm -hmm. Uh, then I become more efficient immediately mm -hmm. because I just enjoy doing things there. Right. But I haven't managed, you know, I haven't managed to really do a good time management or anything like that. So I, I think it's really, I, I'm very sensitive to the cosmetics around where I work. Right. Um, if I don't have the right notebook, you know, it's, it's harder to, to be clean. <laughs> so it's, it's the same thing. And, you know, being in a place that uh, you have your books and you, you, know, you have space to write and you can things that look nice, this is important to yeah. me and, and this has made my, it makes my work easier. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Um, what do you think about most when you're not intentionally trying to think about something? Uh, a white wall. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, huh. um, let's see. What do I think most? I, I'm always thinking about something. I have to say that you know, I have a very noisy head. There is always something. And normally there are like multiple things in parallel. And if one stops, there are the other ones <laughs> that come. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't think there is one single thing, or at least I cannot pinpointed right now i mean right now probably it's just the fact that i will really like i will i would like to go to spain mm. uh, and then spend some time there so that's the one thing that maybe i'm thinking more about oh. right now yeah but, yeah yeah um what is something surprising about you that something that the rest of us might not guess hmm. uh, Okay, so I mean, I guess there are several things that I think that you know, I, I think that the fact that I'm a very shy person, I, I think that that's something that a lot of people guess correctly. <laughs> 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 so I don't think that's something unknown. Uh, mm -hmm. But sometimes, because if 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 you only see me giving a talk, you, know, you might feel like uh, I'm making jokes and everything, and and it feels like I'm not shy, but that's not the truth mm -hmm. at all. I yeah. have to go through an exercise before I, I go to, I give a talk. An exercise should be you know, brief, a lot so that you oxygenate yourself and you're kind of drunk <laughs> with oxygen. <laughs> uh, uh, but the other thing is, uh, you know, I have a terrible memory, terrible memory. I don't remember anything. And, and it's not something that is due to the age. Mm. This is something that comes, you know, I remember when I was a kid, and uh, I was maybe five or six years old, and 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 the teacher wrote on the white on the blackboard, uh, "Okay, you should memorize this paragraph." And she wrote a paragraph, mm -hmm. and I still remember the how scared I got. I said, "There is no way I'm going to ever <laughs> remember this paragraph." Of course, I don't. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't learn anything. But I, I, you know, I have a, this good memory for these events that were kind of traumatic. Um, yeah. It yeah. took me a long time to to learn the the the, the alphabet. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's not it's new. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is one thing about the world that surprises you? About the world. Mm -hmm. uh, wow, that that can get really deep, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Okay, you know, it can be, it can be not very deep. Like, you know, I find it surprising that it's a sphere. 
Uh, it could be flat as you know, yeah. 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 Uh, but um, as a scientist, you know, I, I guess that what is surprising about the world is that it's explainable to some degree. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That it can create the brains that kind of understand what it is about. I, it's just, it was, it was strange. It's just strange. <laughs> yeah. Um, what is the most recent unexpected thing that happened? Recent and unexpected thing. Um, I don't think, well, I mean, of course, the pandemic is pretty, was pretty unexpected. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, I don't think there's been any particular event um, lately that is uh, particularly remarkable. Uh, mm. Yeah, I think that uh, you know, professionally it was I, I, I became the head of the department of the uh, unit, the AID unit mm. at the department. Mm. So that was pretty unexpected. Mm. Um, but uh, personally, there hasn't been anything too unexpected. It's, yeah. Um, what is one way in which you wish your life was different? Mm. Well, um, you know, I, I think that one thing that would be nice is to have all your close friends and family nearby. Mm -hmm. So, you know, yeah. if, if that, that would be one change that really could, will make a big difference mm -hmm. in life. Yeah. So. yeah could make that one happen, you know, that would be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> um, what are you looking forward to tomorrow or next week? Uh, well, I'm, I'm mostly always looking forward to the weekend. <laughs> 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 and it's not because I don't work on weekends. Sometimes I do work on weekends. But if I work on weekends, it's always in projects that are personal and that I enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. it's, I try never to do any project that is... Uh, even if I enjoy doing it, but it's more work, more, you know, more work related. No, it has to be something that is, it can have some components from research, but it has to be something very personal. Then it's okay. Mm. Um, so yeah, the, the, the weekends. And, uh, so it's not for tomorrow. I'm still, you know, there's still three or four <laughs> days away from it. But. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, do you think you're average, above average or below average happy? Um, relative to people around you? Uh, I, I probably above average. Uh, I, I consider myself a very happy person. I, I yeah, I generally uh, always find the positive side of most of the things and and I can be happy in, in, in conditions that will be hard. Uh, yeah, I, I think that um, I try to see always, you know, I, I, I enjoy things quite a lot. So, I, I, yeah, I consider myself pretty happy. I think it's quite genetic, actually, because <laughs> all my family is like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, when was the last time you danced? Oh, uh, that's been some time. Uh, I don't remember. It's been a long time ago. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. yeah, my guitar teacher told me that I have to start dancing at one <laughs> one thirty BPMs. <laughs> at one thirty BPMs. So I looked for one for music at one thirty BPMs, and it's horrible. I don't like that music. So <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, that's what was... my next... yeah. Sorry, say that again. That's supposed to be my next my dancing exercise. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, what was your most recent dream that you remember? Oh, I, I always remember my dreams hmm. every day. And in fact, I normally remember two or three dreams, dreams per day. Oh, wow. So lately, there are dreams that are always happening in some workshop. I don't know why. <laughs> but they are always happening in a workshop. And, it, and the one today... Uh, I was at a workshop and we didn't register. 
I was there inside, but I didn't register. <laughs> and, and I had to get out. And they were checking on the, as people were getting out. They were checking that you know everybody had registered. So I had to find a fire exit to, to get out of, of the of the yeah. place. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. Um are you more optimistic than people around you or more pessimistic? Uh, I, I think I'm pretty optimistic. I'm 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 pretty optimistic, but I I am not, um, I'm also a realist sometimes. I mean, it's not like uh, always uh, the bright side, independently that things are going down. Like, <laughs> no, if, you know, if things are going down, I see them going down. But, yeah. I, but, I, but in general, I think that I'm pretty optimistic, especially, um, which I think is quite important, especially when you haven't started doing something or something hasn't happened yet. I focus more first on the on the probability that it's going to work hmm. or that it's going to go well. Mm -hmm. I prepare for it not going well. And, and I think that that keeps me optimistic because I know that even if, do, if it doesn't work, it will be okay. Mm -hmm. so, so that keeps me, keeps me optimistic. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Um, do you think there is a point to life, uh, to our existence? I think, uh, you know, I think we are like epsilons. <laughs> so what, what else could it be? Yeah. I, I guess that, uh, you know, when you, when you look at a fly and, and you ask the question, what is, what is the meaning of the life of this fly? I mean, probably the, the fly is just super devoted to whatever it's doing and, and it cares a lot about its own existence. But it's, and, it, and it's not meaningless, but it's just an epsilon. Mm -hmm. Probably we are just, you know, a little bit larger than that epsilon, but it's still an epsilon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that life in this totality, yes, but I think that is, I think that is a meaning to it. Mm. Yeah. Um, what do you struggle with in life? Hmm. Well, okay, so there are several, many things, uh, but I, I guess that one of the things is saying no to things. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a problem that a lot of people has, but I, I struggle saying no, the, the, deceiving people. Hmm. Yeah. Those are things that I don't like. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a good skill to have. <laughs> <but laughs> like yeah. Um, how do you decide what to work on? Okay, so I think that um, I like working on projects that I, I think they fit a little bit what, what I think my friends think my personality is. I like working in projects that are fun, mm -hmm. uh, that are, you know, deep, uh, uh, you know, deep in some sense, but they are also creative. And, 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 and a little bit crazy. I, I don't like starting a project that starts with a question that is too well posed. Mm. Um, I, I like more starting with things that it looks like, oh, yeah, this is just not going to work. I mean, it's a, it's a little bit crazy. Mm. And which is, is uh, the difficulty there is to convince the students to work on that too. Yeah. Uh, they, they might see, they might see that in the past you have done some interesting work that was a little bit crazy and creative. Mm -hmm. But the idea that you are giving them now, that one, <laughs> that one is just too crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah, there is, uh, there is a little bit that. So that, that's how I chose working on projects. I, I, I love working on a project that you get excited by it. You, you, you don't know the answer, but you know that if this works this way or, you know, or something happens, then it's going to be so cool. And that's what, yeah, that's how I choose this. Yeah, yeah. Um, what are two traits that uh, tend to be common among some of the best collaborators or colleagues? Huh. Uh, I think I have a very diverse set of colleagues and collaborators. I think that is people that I like working with, 
that they could, you know, in many cases, they are also friends. So it's people that uh, we, we also match in terms of personality. And, and But I think that in particular is people that um, they also have a taste for crazy ideas. That's, you know, they also want to that, do that. Mm -hmm. um, they don't get scared if the idea cannot be immediately written down with a clear loss function that you need to optimize and you know, things like that. If you can write the loss function immediately, that's probably not a project I want to start doing right away. I mean, ideally at the end, you want to have that <laughs> formulation that is very clean, yeah. but you don't want to start with that. Mm -hmm. And you know, some people are really great at that and they are great at starting with that formulation. I'm mm -hmm. terrible at that. Mm -hmm. And so I prefer not to start with that. Yeah, yeah. So the, the other thing is that the collaborators many times, they also uh, complement my, my lack of you know, some, some skills you know? so maybe it's some other things that I lack that they are much better than, than I am. Hmm. Yeah. Um, and how do you spot these traits? Do you think you can spot them early? Yeah, I, I, think, I think so. Um, I think so. I think that uh, all, all the collaborators that I had and all the all the different collaborations, I have always enjoyed them. I I actually collaborate with a lot of people. So it could be also that I'm just quite flexible also of adapting to different personalities. Mm -hmm. So I don't need to be too picky on, mm -hmm. on the characteristics that a person needs to fulfill for me to be able to work with that person because uh, for instance, at MIT, I think that right now, at least over the years, I've been working with maybe 14 or 15 groups. So wow. that's a lot of groups. Yeah. Um, and that's just with me. So yeah, I think I'm, I like collaborating. Actually, I enjoy collaborations even more than working alone. I think that part of the work, what I like is, is the social aspect also of, of of the work itself and how you are with a group of people that suddenly, suddenly enjoy coming up with an idea or finding a solution and you know you, you are all enjoying that moment and I yeah. really like that yeah yeah um oceans or hills oh uh, well you know I was I grew up in an island mm -hmm. surrounded by the sea it wasn't it was not an ocean uh, <laughs> but I you know I, I I always like being near the sea mm -hmm. and in the sea yeah but I I don't mind hills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, what is something you love doing that you're terrible at? You know, I, I love, uh, I love art. Hmm. I, I like uh, doing all kinds of artistic things. Hmm. I'm pretty terrible at it. Like I, uh, if, you know, if I paint, painting is, you know, I'm just, Terrible at it. If I have to paint a person on a horse, a person riding a horse, you wouldn't be able to tell what is the horse and what is the person. <laughs> uh, so it's just not good. But I compensate by just looking other ways of doing it. Mm -hmm. So I, I do things with, with pictures and, and, and I have a number. Of, I always have some projects, art projects. And right now I'm, I have one art project that has been I'm working on it for the last two years. Oh. And it's a, it's a big, thick installation. So oh. I, I do these things. Yeah, yeah. Um, what is something you did recently that surprised um, some people that know you well? Um, so not, not too long ago, one thing that I did was uh, to take theater classes, hmm. acting, acting classes. So... That's something that even surprised me because uh, you know, I, I'm so shy and everything, but uh, I thought, why not? You know, I, it's something that I wanted to do for a while. I, I had that in the back of my mind, but I, I never really found the courage. And then I found uh, a school that was pretty good. Mm. And I, I just went there. And the first day I was hesitating whether to enter or not. Yeah. <laughs> that was going to be too much. If you are exposed, <laughs> really exposed, that is in an acting class. Yeah. And the first, the first, uh, the first day, 
something happened is uh, we we are we are in the classroom and there we were maybe eight students and the teacher says okay you are going to do the following exercise you are going to go in the middle of the room in front of the rest of the class and you are going to pretend that you are inside a box and when i like when i tell you open open the box i will say also the name the name of an animal and you have to become that animal wow and for several minutes you have to make us believe that you are that animal wow and then you know i i you know the, she was calling uh, people to to do it and i decided to do it immediately you know i didn't want it to be the last one because i thought <laughs> okay this is going to be terrible so i just want to get <laughs> over with it so i just went the first and <laughs> And she says, okay, you are a chicken. And, and the thing is that since I was a, a, you know, a teenager, with a friend, we have been imitating chickens <laughs> so long, for so long that I can, I can talk to a chicken and the chicken will reply, okay? So, <laughs> so we just became experts at that. And when she said that, I thought, I cannot believe it. I have, you know, I have been training myself over a decade to how to imitate a chicken. And I never thought it was going to be useful for anything. But <laughs> I thought, okay, this is, you know, I am in the right place in the right moment. <laughs> so then I just continued doing that. So I, I did it for a year uh -huh. and it was amazing experience. I have to tell you that if I had discovered this earlier, hmm. I wouldn't be here doing science. I will oh, be wow. in the acting business. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. And maybe I would not have been good at it. Who knows? But, <laughs> but it was an amazing experience. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Um, when was the last time you felt like a kid in a candy store? I, I, I always feel like a kid in a candy store. I think I never left the candy store. <laughs> you know, I, I, I think we have a job that is, uh, is pretty nice now because it's, uh, you are always doing new things. If you get bored of something, we are being paid to stop doing whatever is boring and do something new. You know, yeah. That's what we are paid for. So yeah. it's just an amazing, it's an amazing job. And I always feel very excited. You know, I, it happens to me quite often that I feel overexcited just because of one new project or something that we just did. And, and yeah, so I, I feel like I never left the candy store. Yeah, yeah. Um, what is something you did not like at the time, but you are glad happened? I guess you mean something deeper than dental surgery, no? <laughs> and anything, anything, yeah, anything you'd like to share. <laughs> <laughs> that was something that had to happen, and I'm glad it happened. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, what do you easily get nostalgic about? I, I, I'm, I'm very nostalgic person. I think I, 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 I like remembering things, and, and it can be anything. Uh, but I, I think that one interesting thing about my life and you know, many of the people's lives that especially in our business that you have to move so much is uh, I feel like I lived many lives depending on where I was it was all very different so one day I will remember my life during my PhD in France or my time in Mallorca or my studies in Barcelona and so uh, yeah I just like remembering the things yeah yeah um, describe something that made you smile today. Oh, this interview. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, then the other meetings, I, I had some grand meetings and so on, so it wasn't so fun. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't but, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, what is some of the best advice you've gotten or given? Uh, so I think that um, I think I've gotten a lot of advice. Mm -hmm. um, 
a lot of it has been very interesting. I think that uh, um, some of the, um, I, I, I don't know, it's, it's hard to tell, but uh, I, I, I remember a lot of episodes of advice that have been fundamental yeah. in my life. Uh, and I kind of start very early. Like I remember when I, when I was a, I, I knew very early on what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to be a scientist. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I was 12 when I was thinking that this is what I wanted to do. Wow. And, and when I was 14, uh, I was doing, uh, I was taking classes on programming. Hmm. And it was, it was a night class because it was for professionals. Everybody in the classroom was over 20. Hmm. Uh, now, very young people, but <laughs> it looked like huge to me. No, it was a <laughs> tiny group. Um, yeah. In fact, it was, not, it was not allowed for people that were smaller than 20, but because I had already done one class there, they allowed me to get in. Hmm. And one of the students there, uh, he told me that I had to study engineering. Hmm. That I had to study engineering and that I should, uh, when I go to the university, if I can go to MIT, that would be great. So <laughs> then that is sticking my, in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> since then. Yeah, yeah. Um, being as honest as possible, why did you agree to do this interview? Uh, oh, as honest as possible. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know. I, you know, how could I tell you now? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would be fun. You know, yeah. I, it sounded uh, it sounded intriguing. Mm. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what can yeah. go wrong. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, that's that's all the questions I have. Is there anything that you think about you, about your life, that you think we should have talked about that we didn't cover? Uh, not really. I mean, I don't know what is. Um, no, I think that we cover a, a lot of, uh, you know, somewhat superficial, but. Uh, quite real mm -hmm. so I think that is uh, you know without, without putting names to things but uh, <laughs> I, I think that it was uh, it covered more or less who, who I think I am yeah 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 um, thank you thank you for doing this I really enjoyed the conversation thanks for taking the time welcome <laughs> yeah, it was fun. yeah all right thanks Antonio thank you bye bye